Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. The weather outside is fit no man no beast. So I'm in here and uh, in the inside and I'm back on this 55 commercial and a little Cody, the little five and one half Johnson. It's a CLDR20 which I think makes it a 19 and 63. But as you saw in the last video, we had some issues. We had some head aches. So, after finding the strip spark plug hole on the bottom cylinder, I had to ask myself, how far am I going to go? Well, I thought at least pop it off air. And look at the head gas. Look at the spark plug hole from both sides. And that's what I did. And what I found was the thing had already been helicoiled. Not very well. And, uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, tap in there for the Healy coil. I know the light is not great here. But I am cutting, so. Should just about do it. Tighten my fires a little bit. Should do it. And now I'll have to clean all that up. See all the chips, full of the chips. So let's get over here in the light and see what we did. Or into more light. Okay. So, oh, get a rag, clean that hole up real good, and see what we're getting. Um, I'm using the Save a Thread. It's more of a solid insert. Well, it is a solid insert. And, uh, and then it's got little bitty knurls all around it. And then you take the other tool and once we put some Loctite on this and put that down in there then I'll take this tool and smash it and it'll bind those knurls there and hopefully that'll take care of it pair my other plug how it sits in there you know what? I mean, I wonder if that plug had the daggum washer on it. <clears throat> well, they look about exactly the same.
Okay. Put a little goo on my gasket. This gasket, like I said, it looks in good shape to me. So I, I'm just going to put a light coat of Av Permatex on it. Help it stick to there. The water passages. I just kind of blew them out. They look all right. Okay. Put a coat of goo just on that one side. Name that tune. I got some lyrics. <sighs> Miner's daughter, stranger to blue. Miner's daughter, stranger to blue. Name that tune. Okay, I got the uh, head all helicoiled, or it's actually called save a thread. Um, you see, that's what the top hole looks like, and there's the bottom. You see, the bottom's darker than the other, and all that purple looking stuff you see is uh, Loctite. So I've got the save a thread in there. It looks really good. Let it set overnight. Got the head bolted back on. And we're going to do a compression test and see what we get. And the reason why I clean the head up like that is uh, it had a lot of flaky yuck on it and everything. And I wanted it good and clean for when I tapped it and all. So let's see what we get on the old compression. Put you right about there. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Go in there. There it goes. Where does it? Yeah, there it goes. Oh. Okay, I am zeroed out. Let's see what we get. About 88. Got about 88. That's pretty good. Way better. Way better. So apparently a lot of that leakage was coming from around that reamed out spark plug hole. Now let's see if we get on the top. I can't even remember if we had 88 on the top. Anyway, I'm zeroed out on the top. Reverse me. Sorry about that. Okay. We got 88. About 88 on the top as well. And this little motor should run okay on 88 top and bottom. So. Now the thing to do, I think, is get some plugs in there. I'm going to get it back in the tank, see if I can get it to least fire. Let me get set up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get it to pop over. Let's see what we get. I'll save right in there. I don't know if he's got what he's got going on this one. Thing to be all the way closed for all I know. Let's see. Well, might have 
have to take off the old carburetor. So let's put it on in there. Let me do that. We got the old carburetor off. And I could tell just as I loosened the bowl, there was water in there. So, let's take her off. this thing out of here. Let me get this high jet out of here. So we got see some rust and crud right where the high jet goes into the bowl. Orpheus. Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah. Can you see that water in the bowl? She's full of water. Full of water. You can see the scum floating around. She's full of it. Yummy. Full of rust. My needle trying to scoot up under there and disappear on me. Yeah, she's a little bit on the funk bit side. Boogers all over that. Overall, not too bad. I'm just going to spend a little, do a little quick clean on this thing. And uh, do a little scraping, scrunching. Spray in. Oh, yeah. You can see the water and boogers. There you go. She, she got a little boogery in her. Right up in here, I can see some rust. More boogers. I found the boogers. Down in that tube, there's a bunch of boogers. I found the boogers. So we'll get that out of there. Get out our little wires, guitar stringy thingies, and light off my compressor. Um, spray everything good, put a little tri flow in there, put it all back together, I'll be right back. Really good. Got good fire on both cylinders. I 
I just had to get that car, but look at my bolt there on the flywheel, so I got to shut her down. <laughs> I got to shut her down and retort that. She'll run. I cannot put her in and out of gear because I'm sharing the tank right now with the 55, which is on the actual lift part. I've just got that little corner thing stuck in there so I can get her in some water, but she pees really good. And let me get that uh, nut tightened back down and torqued good, and then we'll see about putting her all back together. I'll be right back. All right, let's see what we get. Don't know. I would say we got it running pretty good. Head wise, stripped out bottom spark plug hole. Put a helicoil in there, or a save a thread, or whatever they call it. Um, got that squared away. The head gasket looked fine. As soon as we got that helicoil in there, and I did put a little goo on the gasket, a little aviation permatex. Um, but as you can see, the numbers both. We had 88 on both cylinders, so roughly 85 on both cylinders. One of these small cross flows will run well with those numbers, um, as this one does now. Now, the rest of the story on this little outboard. Um, I could spend a week on it, making it what it should be. Will I? No. Nope. Um, it's not my outboard. Um, I will replace the bottom um, motor mount. It's clearly broke, uh, so I will replace that. The upper two motor mounts, I think, are just worn really bad. But uh, the particular owner of this motor will bark about what I've already done and his write out the 
bill, he's not going to like it. But I said, hey, you know, ain't no reason to throw this motor away. Um, so I've got it running, and uh, the 55, what's going on with it? It's in my way, but I'll show you. I'll show you. I got my head gasket. I went ahead and ordered about three of them because I've got several of these 55 commercials and I really would like to get them up and going and get them for sale. But I'm still waiting on the T-Stat cover gas. <sighs> Ain't that pretty? Says ice, marine parts. Ice. I never heard of them. But they've got the pre sealer on the gasket. You see that gray? The gray lines? That's pre sticky them. So it'll tell you right in there not to use the uh, Permatex with them or whatever. But I've got the head gasket. And I've got the all-important, severely overpriced pressure relief valve, i.e. and grommet, poppet valve. Got that. So I am just waiting for the T-Stat cover gasket. But I still, I've got to clean all these parts up, get the heads all clean, get the surfaces all clean. And I'll get to that. Um, in fact, I'm going to do some of that right now. So let me get set up, and that's what we'll do. I'll be right back. and get all washed up with purple power and so forth and be ready for its new gas.
a gonna be all I can do for that right now. I'm waiting on my thermostat gasket parts and uh, yeah all I need is that thermostat cover gasket and I'll be ready to go back up with the 55 and then uh, I still have to do the motor mount on the little five and one half okay so I'll probably get to doing that and get that lower motor mount off there I don't think there'll be too much to that uh, then I'm just gonna wait on parts to get the 55 going and remember in this little shop here you never know what's going to come in next. That's going to be a wrap. One more hack from Kodiak. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass.